Hi everybody, welcome to your bar and pilates inspired workout. This one is 30 minutes long and you won't be needing any equipment, but I would advise that you do have a pilates mat or something to protect your knees. If you've not checked out my Instagram, go ahead and find me, I am at Taylor Toned. Make sure you also hit subscribe and leave me any comments and feedback down below in the comment section. Very excited for this one. I've got some new stuff in store for you all. Let's get straight into it. Setting the feet underneath the hips, the toes point forward. You're gonna bring your hands into a prayer. Take an inhale, sweep those hands to the sky. Exhale, bring them down in towards a prayer. And again, inhale, sweeping those hands nice and high. Exhale, bring them down in towards a prayer. Now step the feet, widen the hips, bend through the knees. You're gonna go over to the left side here. We track it. Over to the left over to the right we go over to the left now get those hips nice and low we're going to warm up the body let's take up the pace here so we go over over now throw the hand tap it down towards your opposite foot here keep those hips nice and low maybe take that eye line down towards the floor it's all about waking up those legs saying hello to those legs let's get the heart rate up we go reach 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 option here then to put your second hand up to the sky and reach go reach over keep those hips nice and low keep tracking those hips along a straight line you've got six and five go four more here three two one lift up you're going to turn out through the feet we're going into a wide clear position go down four two we go up and up so sweep the hands over the top of the head fill the lungs with oxygen inhale Exhale, knees dive over the top of that middle toe. Sink those hips down to the ground. Imprint, imprint all four corners of your feet onto the floor in towards your mat. We go up and up. Now option here, go faster. Drop, then lift. Inhale, exhale. Dropping those hips down towards the floor. Nice neutral spine. Knees over the second toe. So over your second toe, knees glide there don't let the knees roll in drop then lift you've got four and up you have three to the hold two to the hold one hold it reach those hands in front of yourself in towards the first position this is called imagine you're hugging a beach ball now squeeze the abs in belly button to spine lower the hips down option here to lift those heels a little miniature bit off the floor little push press what are your knees doing are they over that second toe get them over your second toe push those hips towards the floor inhale exhale you have just eight seven six you've got five four three two one lower the heels down lift yourself up bend through the knees dropping it down towards the floor you're going to come into a forearm plank so both the forearms Set down towards the floor now, took your left toe under, took the right toe under, come into a plank position. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can always drop the knees down, squeeze those toes in. But you want one straight line from the crown of the head down to your connection on the floor. So if you're up here with me, crown of the head down to those heels, straight line, squeeze the butt together, squeeze your inner thighs together. Abdominal zip up. Put a really super tight belt on. You've got four to the side plank. Three seconds, two, one. Rotate your left fingertip to right elbow and you're gonna roll all the way to me and you're gonna sweep this hand up towards the sky. If you want the modification at this point, underneath the knee, it bends down towards the floor. If you're up here, I want you to get the top hip bone up towards the sky. In fact, if you're in the modification, get your hip bone up to the sky. Shoulders are square, hips are square. I should be able to see both your shoulder blades and both your hip bones right now equally. And then you're gonna take this bottom hip to the floor and then squeeze it up. If you want the modification, underneath knee goes down towards the floor. It's about toning up the waist, giving you that hourglass figure. Oh, you go lift up, squeeze. We've got two more here. We take a lift up, squeeze one more. We go down to the floor. And now lift up and hold. Now back to the centre, onto those forearms. Don't collapse down, stick with me. Now knit your navel up to the spine. Imagine you have a magnet on the back of your spine right now, where your belly button is. Now squeeze your belly button towards the magnet, zip up the waistline. You're gonna rotate right fingertips to the left elbow, 
and you're gonna roll around, sweep this hand nice and high towards the ceiling. Lower the hip down. Exhale, push. Now don't forget, throughout my workout today, do not hold the breath, use the breath. You're gonna need that to get through this class. Inhale, exhale, squeeze up. We've all got habits of holding the breath. When a move gets hard, don't do it. You need to breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze the hip to the sky. One more, lower down. Now squeeze the hip towards the sky. Back through the center onto those forearms. Inhale here, exhale away. Now zip up the waistline again. Both the knees, there you go. Tap, tap, they lift. They go down, down, up. Inhale. Exhale, so your warm up today, it's just six minutes, and then we're going into four minutes of arms. And lift, we go, tap the knees, lift up, you've got it. three more of these. Lift, two, lift, now don't let those hips move. Hold it here, squeeze your inner thighs together, zip up through the waistline. You've got seven seconds, six, five, four, you have just three, two, one. Lower the knees down. You're gonna take the toes together, open through the knees, now push the hips backwards with an inhale. And an exhale, allow the chest to melt down towards the floor. And then reach those hands as long as you physically can. Then from here, roll up through the spine. And you're gonna give yourself a circle with those arms, all the way back. And then again, inhale, exhale, sweep the hands back. This time, keep the hands behind yourself, interlace the fingertips, pectoral stretch. Press the chest forward. Can you squeeze your hands up towards the sky? Who's ready for that arm section? Let's do this. You're gonna bring your hands underneath the shoulders and then extend your right leg up towards the sky. Open this hip for me, oil rigger. Now bring the hands slightly wide on the shoulders. The elbows, they dive behind you. Inhale here, exhale, try to get the chest in between your hands, push up to the sky. So I do not want this Elbows to the side, elbows go behind yourself, chest to the floor, and push up. It's like you're aiming your breastbone or your sternum in between your fingertips, and you'll really get into the front of your body. You'll get into those arms, bend down, squeeze and lift. Three more, bend it down, squeeze and lift. Two more, bend it down, squeeze up, push. One more, we go, bend down, hold the bend here. Get the chest in between your hands and little miniature bounces, little pulses down to the floor. Get the chest low, elbows behind yourself. Come out of the shoulders. You're not a turtle. Get the head out of those shoulders. Seven, six more presses. Five and four. Get lower. Three, two, one. Lift up. You're going to spin it round. Other side, hands under the shoulders. Float the other toe high. Open the hip. Now open the hands wide in the shoulders. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. If you can't feel this, get the chest down to your fingertips. If it's too advanced, take the bend smaller. Don't go so low down towards the floor, but I want you burning, I want you shaking. So my chest and my arms right now, they're on fire. So take the weight of the body into your arms and squeeze up, lift, two more. Inhale, exhale, lower the chest down. Press up, lift, one more. Then the elbows, elbows five behind yourself, chest arms and fingertips, little miniature. Presses down for five, for four, you've got it. Three, two, one. Lift all the way up onto the knees. Spin to me. Reach those hands high. We go up and down. On your palms, facing the sky, facing the ceiling. We go lift up, lower down, lift up. You've got four, sorry. I keep needing a drink in my workouts lately. You've got two, but that's not happening. One more. Palms to the sky, now little. Lift up, squeeze. Little up and squeeze. Now imagine you're holding on towards an apple in each of your hands. Lift up, squeeze. As well, if you want to take this harder, you can always add weight here. So any of my arm sections can be taken with weight. So weights that you hold, like one kilogram, you can grab some beans out the cupboard, cans, maybe a water bottle in each arm, lift up, squeeze. Or you go lift up, squeeze. You've got it, three more here. Whew. Two more here. Last one you're gonna hold there. Extend the palms towards me. Little miniature presses, forwards, forwards, forwards. Squeeze those palms towards me. Now grow off those knees. Cry the head towards the sky. 
you've got six pushes here, five rotates back in three, in two, in one. Now push the palms back, press, 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 inhale, exhale. Now lengthen out through those elbows, roll the shoulders backwards and down. You've got five, four, hold in three, two, now hold. Little miniature lift, lift. Nice deep inhale, exhale, inhale, with an inhale. It's because it burns so much. That's when my language completely goes out the window. Little lift, little lift, little up. Pinky towards the sky, lengthen those arms, and shine the chest forwards. You have just 10, just nine. Go eight more here, seven. You've got six, booty section coming up in five, in four. You've got it, three, two, one. That burn. You're gonna come straight on towards your left forearm. I want you to bring the forearm down towards the floor and you're gonna pop the shoulder, the elbow underneath the shoulder. Now squeeze the feet in front of yourself here. So lift those feet in front of yourself and then lift the top leg off. You're gonna go ahead and lift the underneath leg off. Now bring them so you can keep them off the floor. If this is too much for you, you can always just drop the underneath leg down towards the floor. And when we take the move, you lift the leg then. So try to keep the legs off the floor. Now bring your heels so you've got them just about two inches in front of the hips. You're gonna point through the toe, scissor the, scissor, the, scissor the leg, underneath toe comes forwards, and then bring it back in again. So we're going into a Pilates influence. Squeeze the toe forwards underneath, and squeeze up lift. So again, modification, you're going here, and when you come back through the center, rest the leg down. If you're with me in the advancement, you want to keep the legs floated away from the floor. If you want the modification here, you can also always grab a towel, fold it up, and pop it underneath this hip bone on the floor. If you feel like it's hurting too much, we go, lengthen, push. So this is great for your bum, great for your abs as well. So great for the side of your body. Remember, don't sink into the shoulder girdle. I was just doing it then. It's easy to give into temptation. Push the forearm into the floor, pull out the shoulder girdle. That way, you will tone the upper body as well as working your butt, Woo. as well as working your obliques. Bring it back in. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the toe forwards. Bring it back in. So it's just the bottom leg moving forwards and back in again. You've got two more here. Squeeze forwards. Bring it in, one more. Squeeze forwards, now hold, press into the forearm. The back leg, it bends. Bends, bends, bends. The leg then goes up, up, up. So I wish I would have come a little bit further forwards away from the wall, but you want this back leg bent, it's just bent, 90 degree angle. We go front up and up, so pulse it lifts. So you're gonna be in an arabesque position, this is called in ballet with this back leg. Try to get the knee past your hip. So have a look down now at your knee. Is it past this hip bone? Get it backwards, lift, but don't take it into the lumbar spine. It's about the side of your butt. We go little up, little up. You just got seven and six. You've got five more here, four more here, three, two, hold the back leg down to the floor, rolling straight onto your back. The front leg lifts away. You got it? Yeah. So you're gonna bring your heel underneath heel towards your butt, hands down to the floor. You're gonna inhale, exhale, lift up through the butt and low back down again into a bridge position. Tight hamstrings, bend the underneath knee and lower to the floor. We go, inhale here, exhale, squeeze it, lift. So you've got your right leg on the floor. So the leg that was just in the arabesque position needs to be on the floor behind yourself. So we're taking right side of booty work low back down now who's ready for that little advancement here you're going to squeeze the arms up towards the sky lower the hips down lengthen the leg come into a crunch and then lower down so we go up and press lower the hips down chin to chest bring it down now option here if this is too much for you take out the crunch don't lift here just keep the head neck shoulders on the floor we go up with the hips Roll down through the spine, chin to chest, lift up, press, and roll back down. Three more, we go up with the spine. We go roll through the spine. So you want that mobility, that roll through the spine up into a crunch, lower down, sweep up with those hips, 
lower the hips down. Shin to chest, lift, low butt down. One more, we go up with the hips, down with those hips. We crunch it forward and lower to the floor. Now keep those hands to the sky. You might need to shimmy your heel back into your butt. Now lift up through the hip. Flex this work, flex the leg in the air. You're gonna take a little miniature press away. So complex choreography for me today. So my words are all over the place. I'm <laughs> sorry. I hope that you followed that one. If you did, make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and let me know you love the seat section today. Right now my hips are off the floor and I'm just pressing through the knee, driving the heel to the sky. Modification of this, bring the hands down towards the floor, give yourself a bigger base of support, push the forearms in, press the palms down. If you're with me in the advancement, shoot those hands up towards the sky. If this is too easy for you, let's make it a little bit more challenging and everyone is gonna drop this bend pressing leg two inches down towards the floor, so the thighs come in alignment. Press the heel away. You've got seven and six. Five to the pulse, four to the change, three to we switch, two, hold point the toe, lift it back up towards the sky. Don't let the hip bones touch the floor. You're gonna dig the underneath heel in and little pushes up and up. We go lift and lift. You've got just six, five, four more here, three, you've got this, two, one, lower the foot down. You're gonna bring the knees into the chest. Rock it up, other side. Bring the forearm down onto the forearm. The feet come slightly in front of your hips. Then you're gonna go ahead, press into the forearm, lift the legs up. Sweet forward scissor, back to the center. Sweet forward scissor, back to the center. So remember, you are gonna go into that pulsing arabesque as your burner to finish this one. So make sure when you sweep the leg behind, have you got enough room to bend that back leg? We go, sweep it behind. Now always try to finish off the exercises like I do, so I don't break. Try not to break. If you break, you will lose the burn. The burning sensation, the fatiguing sensation, is when a lot of the change happens. That's when you're gonna create the transformation. So commit to your burn, commit to the shake. Squeeze it forwards, bring it in. So this is a really good Pilates influence done this exercise quite a lot in Pilates. I did it in a class the other day, but we just did these scissors. Uh, we just did like 10 each side, and we didn't finish with a burn, and I was like, I know what I can do with the exercise. I can do this. Add a bit of bar pulse in and go straight into another exercise so everyone absolutely dies. <laughs> that was my take on that class. That's what I took home from doing that Pilates class, is that I'm gonna kill everyone on YouTube. I shouldn't say that, is that I'm gonna make everyone burn on YouTube. Disclaimer, I'm not gonna kill you. Um, and make it burn. Lengthen. We go, bring it in. Two more. We go, lengthen, push. Squeeze it in. One more. Now lengthen, push. You're going to bend through the top leg and little miniature presses up. So we've gone Pilates to bar. We're pushing up. Now imagine I'm pushing this thigh down at the back and you're pressing me away. We go, little squeeze to the sky. Little squeeze. So the knee and the toe moves. Lift, make it burn, make it shake. Now press into the forearm. Let's build that shoulder stability. Let's tone the upper body as well as the lower body. Little squeeze, is it burning? I know, up, up. You've got seven, six. We're going into that bridge in five, in four, in three, in two. Hold, back leg bends down to the floor. This leg sweeps forwards, roll onto your back. Remember your left leg's working, leg to the sky, bridge. We go, push up. We go, lower down. So, when I'm editing my videos, I'm always aware I'm like looking over here. If you want to know why I'm looking over there, there isn't someone that I'm like, ooh, they're hot. <laughs> Wish. Um, I'm looking at my stopwatch. My stopwatch is literally right there. So that's why I keep looking over there. We go, up, squeeze, lift. Down, who's ready for the combination? Last one, then we're gonna go combination. Sweep the hands to the sky, lower down. Now go. Sweep the hands, sweep the hips up, sorry. Lower the hips down, shin to chest. Curl up into a crunch and lower back down. Sweep up with those hips. Squeeze, shin to chest and crunch up, lift. The heel, the underneath heel, it will start to walk away from you. 
make sure you're shimmying the heel up if you need to replace it so if it comes away from you make sure you shimmy it back in every time you lift up you should have a 90 degree angle through the underneath leg up and press now roll mobilize through the spine like the chain the chain of a bike you want to ripple away from the floor squeeze the butt together ripple back down chin to chest lift up you've got it two more of these i know you can uplift roll down chin to chest into a crunch eye line forwards roll back down one more we go up with those hips we take it down to the floor chin to chest you're going to curl up lift lower down keep the leg towards the sky bend the knees you've got a tight hamstring lift those hips up now dig the underneath heel in flex the top foot little tiny press away 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 push lower this leg down in line with the other thigh, you've got five and four. Hold in three, in two, in one. Stay here, point the toe. Now keep this leg here for a challenge. Here you go, up with those hips, lift. Squeeze, get the hips to the sky. Make it burn. Now squeeze your butt together as tight as you possibly can. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those hips up. You have a final, let's do it, for 10. Nine more here, eight more here, seven more lifts, six, you've got it, five, push higher, four, three, two, one, lower the foot down, well done, knees to the chest, rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. Then you're going to sweep, I'm going to go this way so I can see my stopwatch, so you mirror me, you're going to bring your feet in line with the hips, take an underhand grip of your thighs, your lumbar spine, it presses down to the floor, you want to see curl with your spine, lumbar spine, down to the floor, inhale, exhale, now zip up through the pelvic floor, work your pelvic floor, so imagine you really need the toilet right now, sorry about number one and number two, you want to zip up, imagine you really need the toilet and then reduce it down to 30% of that maximum, oh my god, I'm going to weigh myself, then you're going to release one hand away, if you can, if you can, you want the advancement or the hand goes away, if you can't feel it, the lumbar spine presses down, hip bones tuck into your belly button, C-shape with the spine. It's like you've got a bowl of water here and you're really, really trying to tip that bowl of water inwards. Now the forearm, let's go left forearm first. You're going to bring one forearm down towards the floor, offer it two inches off and reach it forward. Other forearm hovers two inches away from the floor and reach it forward. Other forearm down. So it's like you're about to put your forearm down, but then don't. Bring it forwards again. Inhale, exhale, squeeze down and then lengthen up. Now both arms, like you're about to put the forearms down. Oh, that burns. And then sweep it forwards again. So don't fall over. I did this in my class the other day. Another one I've kind of taken my own influence on. And she was like, is if you're about to put your forearms down? Fully collapsed on the floor in the class. I put my forearms on the floor. Don't do it. Keep the forearms hovering two inches away and it will give you a really good burnout. Sweep those hands forward. You want a C shape with the spine. Remember, C shape with the spine and reach it forward. You've got two more here. Sweep the forearms down. Sweep, lift, press. One more. We go. Sweep the forearms down. Forwards again. Now you're going to bring your left fingertips and you're going to push them into the side. So press your fingertips on, like you're trying to leave an imprint on your skin of your fingertips. Other fingertips, they push down onto the other side. Now tuck the hips as much as you can. Press your lumbar spine one more inch down. Keep tucking that pelvis under. Zip up through the pelvic floor. Let's improve our pelvic floor. Work those transverse abs. This is all about burning out those, those abdominals, working your core. You just got six and five and four and three. Go two. One, well done, lower down, squeeze the knees in as you come in, bring them into a tabletop, push the hands to the floor, drop the left toe down, for two, squeeze it, lift, right toe, go drop and drop, we squeeze it up and up, now work on your technique right now, pull your belly button down towards the spine, leave a lasting imprint of your spine on your mat, so really get your spine imprinted in towards your mat and lift it back up. If this feels okay for you, and you don't feel like you've got a bridge in the spine, option to sweep the hands off the floor. Lift, lift, take it down and down. We take it, lift, lift. If you want a little bit more, I know you can and I know you do. Sweep the hands behind for two. Lift back up to the sky. Sweep for two. 
lift, lift. Who is ready for the next option? You can either stay here or lengthen the leg out, bring back in. Lengthen out, bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Don't give in. I know you've got it, lengthen away. Every time you bring the knees in, the knees go over the top of your hip and the toes they point forward. Now reach the hands backwards. Try and take the eye line towards the sky. The head is on the floor right now, so head is on, one million percent, it's on the floor. Lengthen and press, we go in and in. You've got six more repetitions of this in. That's five, go push and press, squeeze in. That's four more here, lengthen away. Reach those hands behind yourself. You've got three more in, oh my gosh, two. Lengthen, press and squeeze it in. And in one more, lengthen. Don't let the spine peel off the floor, bring it back through the center. Inhale, exhale, touch your inner thighs together. If you're still in the modification, hands are down towards the floor. If you're with me for the challenge, you're gonna try to lengthen both the feet away. Do not let your spine come off the floor. Imprint the spine, spine down, use your abs. They should be trembling right now because this is so intense. Drop those legs lower, unless you're an Olympian athlete. Drop the legs lower. Sweep the hands behind yourself and hold stillness here. You've got 10 and nine. Imprint the spine, pull the navel in for seven, for six. Keep the abs in, don't let them flare out. Go five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Pop the hands down towards the floor. The palms go towards the floor. The feet go down, the knees bend towards the sky. Feet come in line with your hips. Inhale in. Exhale away. Now any tension that you've got in your body from that workout, let it go. Let it just melt in towards the floor and towards the sky. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. You're gonna hug the knee, press the other way, other leg away from yourself. Squeeze the knee towards the shoulder. Inhale, hip flexor stretch, ham, hip flexor stretch. Yeah, that's right, hamstring <laughs> stretch, sorry. And then bring the other knee in towards the chest, lengthen the other leg away. Bring the knees in, you're gonna rock back. You're gonna rock it all the way up and forwards. I want you to bring it round in towards a four point position, so hands and knees are on the floor. Inhale, cat and cow, eye line towards your belly button. Inhale, scoop out through the abdominals. And then exhale, press the chest down. Lift up through the eye line. Bringing it in towards a neutral spine. You're gonna sweep now your left foot forwards, 90 degree angle. Lift all the way up. You're gonna reach the hands towards the sky. Now the hip bones are gonna tuck under. Hip flexor stretch lunge forwards, lengthen through the hip flexor, and you should get a quad stretch here. Then bring the hands to the inside of this foot. This heel tries to stay on the floor, tuck the back toe under. You're gonna to pivot turn towards me, and then use this elbow to push the knee backwards. You're aiming for this position. If you're here, try and get the heel to the floor. Common, common mistake. Try and get the heel all the way down to the floor. And then from here, tracking those hips across that straight line, walk the hands over, dig in your left heel in, pushing back through the knee. Turn out through this leg, heels on the floor. If you want the modification, the heel slightly peels away, or you can come higher in towards the stretch, it will be a little bit easier. You're gonna rotate, turn all the way to the other side, drop the back knee down. Find two 90 degree angles, sweep the hands to the sky with an inhale. With an exhale, rotate the hip bones under and then push forwards and towards that lunge. Hip flexor, quad stretch. Nice deep breath. You can take a slight incline backwards here if your back is okay for that one. And then bring the hands to the inside of this foot. Sweep the leg round behind yourself. Down dog, feet in line with the hips. Tuck the toes under, drive the heels to the floor. Lift the hips nice and high and allow the chest to fall in towards the floor. And then you're gonna allow your knees to drop down towards the floor and we're gonna go in towards a puppy pose. So the hips stay high. You're gonna reach the hands forwards and then inhale, exhale, press the chest down, press the forehead to the floor. Keep the hips nice and high and allow your chest to melt in towards your mat. Feel free to close the eyes here, use the breath in 
and use the exhalation out. Safely and slowly bring the hands around the side of your chest and lift all the way up. Tuck the toes under. You're going to walk your hands to your feet and then sequentially unwind, unfold through the spine, rolling up through all of the vertebrae. And then from here, turning towards me, bringing your hands into a prayer. I want you to close your eyes, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale the breath in. Exhale the breath away. And then from here, just going to run through the knees, run through the, run through the ankles, give the arms a quick shake off, give the head a little wobble. And well done in your 30 minute bar and Pilates workout with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment and feedback down below in the comment section. And I'll see you again in a couple of days for another brand new workout. Bye.